guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm actually going to be bringing you guys another uh, book recommendations video based off of metal songs. So you guys really seem to enjoy the last one and recommended that I do another one so that's what I'm going to bring to you today. Um, I'm filming in my dorm which is a little bit weird which is my, why lighting might be weirder I don't know but I think I think this is good. Right? I think. Um, before we jump into the video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video and for sending me some jewelry pieces. So they sent me three little pouches with jewelry in them. And today I'm wearing like the snake boa earrings that I got from them. I'll show a close up, but I really like them and I really like this brand. They, I've worked with them before and they're a sustainable jewelry brand and they're like carbon neutral and their stuff ranges from like $39 and up, which it's all like really good quality. And like, it doesn't like make your, your ears bleed or anything like that. So like, I know people have a problem if they buy fake earrings, then you know, their ears will bleed. So this doesn't have that problem because that happens to my ears sometimes, but not with these. I have some Black Friday sales that are gonna be happening. So I'll have a link for you down below to check them out if you want to. Um, no pressure, but I just think they're a great company. And yeah, I've worked with them before and yeah, their stuff is just really, really nice. So I'll have a link down below if you wanna do anything for Black Friday. Um, I also, also have a code down there as well. So yeah, let's jump right into this video. Think about doing more chill sit down videos like this, um, maybe with like a cup of coffee one day or like a do a video with pajamas and like we could just chill together. Um, but yes, the first song that I have is Bodies by Drowning Pool. This one I just think is a interesting song. Like I've been playing it a lot on repeat to the point where like now I don't listen to it as much, but I still enjoy the song. Um, and of course I'll have these all linked down below for you guys so you can listen to them or not, or I don't know. But the book pairing that I had with this was Doubt Volume 1. So this is actually a horror manga series and it's only like too, too thick mangas so it's not that long or anything. In the universe there is a game called Rabbit Doubt. Players are the rabbits and then you have to find out and uncover who the wolf is is basically the whole concept I guess and one day a bunch of these people get together and want to do something like an offline version and they end up uh things go wrong and they end up in an abandoned building and they have weird barcodes on them like they just have random barcodes on them that's not a good thing. And then there's also like a corpse in the room. So they have to figure that out. And it's very like gruesome and fun and interesting. And you just follow the mystery. Literally the only reason why I paired these two together was because of death in this one. And that's what it mainly revolves around. Um, and bodies hitting the floor, which is a lyric from the song. And I just was like, okay, we'll put them together. <laughs> also, sorry that I don't have any of these books in person to show you. I don't have any of them here, but I'll put photos up. Next, I have Carnivore by Starset. This, I really like Starset. I've been listening to them for a while, um, but Carnivore is just a, a pretty good song. I decided to pair it with The Shining by Stephen King. So if you don't know what The Shining about, it's about it's about a man named Jack Torrance who gets a job at the Overlook Hotel over the winter. He's supposed to watch the boiler room, so he decides to take his wife and son, so his wife Wendy and his son Danny, uh, along with him to the hotel as he's working there over the winter and like they'll be the only ones really there. His goal is to like, you know, write, spend time with his family, do his job, whatever. And as they spend more and more time at this hotel, things start to go wrong and people start to hear things. And Danny has some abilities too. So there's just a lot of things that come to the surface in this story. And the reason why I paired these two together was the lyrics really reminded me of Danny and like his inner struggles and inner battles. I love Danny as a character. And if you read Dr. Sleep, you will even get a more of appreciation for him, I think. This one is Remedy by Seether. Um, again, really like this song, but the pairing for it, I actually paired Frankenstein by Mary Shelley with this one. If you don't know about Frankenstein, um, it was it's a horror classic um, written by Mary Shelley when she was only 18 years old. It's one of my favorites. I love Frankenstein so much. Like. When people say they don't like it or that they had problems with it, I just have a little bit of trust issues. You're entitled to your opinion, but I have a little bit of trust issues. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Victor Frankenstein becomes obsessed with creating a monster and he succeeds. Things go awry when the monster starts to wreak havoc on his life as well as um, the lives of people he cares about. So that's what the story follows. Um, again, I love Frankenstein. Uh, my reason for this pairing was that the song deals with addiction just like how Frankenstein becomes addicted to his creation the monster uh that was just my little thing just because the song deals with addiction Frankenstein monster 
So the fourth one is probably my favorite song on this list. It's called Another You by Of Mice and Men. I still listen to this one on repeat. It's a favorite. It's off like an old album of theirs too, but it's so good. So if you're going to listen to one song that I recommend, listen to this one. It's really, really good. I ended up pairing this with The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, uh, which I read a long time ago, but it's a YA contemporary, so a bit different from the previous books I've mentioned, but it's a YA contemporary and it's about this boy who is on vacation with his family. So his name is Matthew and him and his brother go out, sneak out in the middle of the night and Matthew's the only one that comes back. And so something happens to his brother and the story also follows Matthew 10 years later still trying to come to terms with what happened so this book really deals with like grief trauma and mental illness so those are three things to keep in mind if you're picking this book up just like how another you can deal with like a loss um if that's a lover or someone actually passing away anything like that any type of loss that is why I paired them together a quote that I really liked from this book and it was in my Goodreads review from like years ago. It's, um, I decided each name on each spine was the person who the book had been written for rather than who had written it. I decided everyone in the world had a book with their name on it. And if I searched hard enough, I'd eventually find mine. Lastly here, we have Cut the Cord by Shine Down. And I really like this song. A few of my friends into the song because like it's not too aggressive or anything, um, but it's pretty good. So the book that I actually paired with this, it was The How and the Why by Cynthia Hand, which I talked about a lot this year, but I will continue to talk about it because more people need to read it. And it's probably one of my favorites from this year. But basically, this book follows this girl named Cassandra and she seems to have a really good family life, but she starts to question where she came from and who her adopted, like her, who her birth parents are and that kind of thing. So even though she has great adoptive parents and they are obviously her parents, uh, she starts to wonder where she came from and things about her birth mother. And we also follow, on the other hand, we follow a 16 year old girl who is writing notes to her baby as she's pregnant and lives in like a home with other teenagers who are pregnant. And uh, she writes notes to her baby as she is going to be giving her up for adoption. There's also discussions of abortion in this Book, so keep that in mind. I wrote in my little thing, it talks about family life, adoption, abortion, illness, teenage pregnancy, and it's a coming of age story. So if that interests you at all, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, and the reason why I paired this song with the Shinedown song specifically was because it always, the song talks about controlling your own destiny, which I think is how Cassandra kind of feels and what she discovers throughout the book. So yeah, there we have it. Those are some books that I recommend to you guys and some songs. I'll have them linked down below so you can check them out. Uh, I, I will also have my code for Anna Luisa down below and their website if you want to check them out. They are having some Black Friday deals and I just really appreciate them working with me again. So thank you so much Anna Luisa. I really like your jewelry. The person I communicate with, her name is also Julia, so that's just really fun. But yes, um, thank you so much to Anna Luisa. If you guys want to see the other jewelry as well, I got this necklace. I got this necklace that has like a lock and key which I think is super cute and look at the back like it, they, it's so cute I love the packaging along with that I have these they kind of like the packaging got a little crinkled because I think I I've had this for a little bit now but yeah and it, it has a chain going down and then it will tie back to the back which I think is super cute and lastly oh this is what I'm wearing lastly is what I'm wearing okay it's these little snakes I think they're so cute uh so yeah i'm really excited about these and they're actually like either gold or silver kind of stuff on their website so my ears are not gonna bleed uh which is great stay until the end please comment something just the word something sure um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it if you're watching right now i appreciate you a lot thank you um but yeah, you guys can follow me on other social media if you wish, and I'll have all my links down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you super soon. Bye.